Today it's all about cows. Here they come. So uh, we've had a few unexpected invoices. Um, someone's invoiced me really late and a couple of bills I weren't expecting really. And it's put our finances really, really low. Um, so we need to be reactive. So we're gonna sell a few cows. We uh, end up doing this every year when we need to, we use them as cash cows. We buy cows cheap in the winter when we can and then sell them in the spring when people want them. It's not a bad way to go. It's quite a good way of cashing your money when you need it. Um, I didn't really want to sell these, but you know, we're building sheep numbers up, things happen and you know, you gotta be reactive. So here we are. It's all been a very last minute decision. So today's Tuesday, Ashford Market's on a Tuesday. I was like, right, I better go. We better just deal with it, get them done. Because it'd be another week till we get our check and then a couple of days after that, so we're looking at 10 days before we get any money. So here I am rushing about, gonna be late. Um, hopefully I got the passports and everything. Hopefully they've all got two ear tags in. Probably seems a bit strange to people, mm -hmm. us just selling cows when we need cash. Um, but to be honest, we, we you know, I love, I, I'm a sheep farmer. I like to breed sheep. I like having sheep and sheep's our main job. The cows is, literally we use the cows for this exact purpose. So this is what they're here for. And this is what we use them for. So we usually catch the cattle in uh, the gateway behind me over there. There's like a nice little run up there. We've got a couple of cattle hurdles in there. I've got two on board and you can make a nice little pen, catch them up and drive on out. But uh, I can't get through this gateway. We're already slipping. And uh, if you're wondering what caused that dent on my truck there, it was uh, the other side of that fence post coming out of it once because he just sort of slide down there. <sighs> so, um, don't really know what I'm gonna do. I've got plan B's probably to, um, I've got two cattle hurdles on board, so we'll probably put them out and try and get them to come on the trailer, but I just don't think we're gonna get the ones I want. Um, not easy, is it? Right, this is plan B. Put the trailer against the fence there. I've got two cattle hurdles which I don't think are quite going to span that, but hopefully they're going to span that. I'm going to get the cows into here, shut that gate, open the trailer, boom, they're in. Um, never realised how low that fence was until now, so... That's a bit awkward. Do we think it's going to work? Of course it will. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting up that or coming back down it. Literally, it's rained in the last like 10 minutes. It must have chucked half an inch down. It's absolutely monsoon. <sighs> so we sent the testers. Right. I've got to open this without getting my legs stung a bit. I always forget how big they are. Really concerned about that. It's not exactly high, is it? We'll make it work, I'm sure. Highland steer is about two years old. There's a Sussex cross that's about two years old. And um, there's a shorthorn cross Dexter, but the person who bred it put Dexter cross on the passport rather than shorthorn cross. So it's not ideal. They're a bit of a mixture. Here we go. Here we go. So um, I'm keeping these two and it would be that Highland steer back there this is the Dexter Shorthorn. Um, she's not a bad animal. And then that's the Sussex Cross. So I just need those three. Hopefully they're just gonna follow me straight into the pen, shut them up, chuck the three on the trailer, and uh, we're not stuck and can get out. Come on! See, we're doing well. They look all right since we've been here. The beef trade in the UK is exceptionally good right now as well it's probably the highest it's ever been it's the highest i've ever seen it so um you know what better time to do it it's not like we're selling them to make a loss you know they're going to be profit and no one's ever gone out of business making a profit you just have to adapt to your situations christ look at my pen <laughs> please fall for it come on come on
Yeah, it's not really an ideal scenario, this. Um, you right, handsome? Go on then. Go on. Steady now, good girl. Here is going to be the problem, isn't it? Go on now. Go on. Good girl, go on. Just go steady, big boy. Go. <laughs> Woo! Worked, didn't it? And I'm cattle experts standing there going, oh, I shouldn't do it like that. Got away with it though, didn't we? Right, okay. Um, passport's next. Just uh, for your information, if you ever cross a uh, Dexter with anything, anything at all, always put the, what the cross was rather than a Dexter cross because um, a short horn cross will sell much better than a Dexter cross. Uh, these two that are left behind, I'm gonna bull. Um, I actually got a short horn bull coming for them, so should be some nice calves next year. We're ready to go. Um, Ashford's about 40 minutes from here maybe. We're already super late. Well, it won't be too bad, but there's not many store cattle in today. And I didn't know if it was a good day to sell them or not. Um, some people have moved them back to next week, so it's a bit of a bigger store sale, but then there's only about 30 booked in then. So there's not huge numbers about now. People have pretty much sold their store cattle. So, and the trade's good, so I think it's gonna be okay anyway. It is what it is, and you know, these things are a must. It's either that, or we sell some ewes with lambs at foot, and we've got plenty of keep for them, and um, I would rather hold on to as many as we can and sell the cows, because we'll always pick a few cows up at some point and like I said it's part of our like business model is to sell the cows when we need to sell them so here they go but they're actually having a sink sink way jeez go on girls but yeah they've been living on this uh, they've been living on this bit of conservation keep we've got uh, all winter actually and uh, it's been hard on them been really really hard on them um, I mean they're just not looking as good as they can be really Still a bit lean, and you, sweetheart? Got some lovely keep for you to go to, though. Right, as long as we can actually get out of here, let's go. So we're in the market now, they put the little stickers on their backs. That's the um, that's the lot number that they'll be as they come through the ring. We might have a slight issue with the Sussex, so you think she might be a little bit in calf, which is possible as well. Um, she very much could be in calf, so. A bit of a tricky one to know what to do now, because uh, we're here, we're last week. Um, but obviously if people are buying store cattle to fat and they don't want a cow that's in calf, obviously I can't sell her as in calf because she hasn't been scanned, so I can't guarantee she's in calf. But we'll probably put her through the sales ring, see if anyone wants to buy her, possibly a car, and take the risk. So we'll send the test in.
Testers. Home sweet home. So that wouldn't be my best day farming. I'm sure it's every time I try and make a YouTube video, it just don't work. <laughs> Something goes wrong, but we end up bringing them home. I thought we'd probably average about 550 a piece, but I don't know whether I was being a bit optimistic about how good they are. Um, so I was expecting maybe a 1600 pound check, which would have been really good and gone down an absolute treat, but we've ended up with zero pound check, a wasted day and um, still got three cows, I suppose. I was in two minds whether to edit this video and put it up or not. I still am, but because it's a little bit embarrassing when you take stuff to market and it's not good enough to sell. Um, but to be honest, it's where we are. It's how we started. Um, I'm not terribly embarrassed of the cattle. Um, I'd be more embarrassed if I sold them for nothing. But yeah, tough day in the office is what it is. We still got the cows. I'm glad I didn't just give them away. Although we could really do with the money. We are pretty keen for some money right now. Um, but we'll have to think of something else, won't we? I'm not really sure what I was expecting from a Highland steer, a Dexter, and a, um, like a, possibly in calf Sussex. I suppose when you look at it, they're probably not the greatest cattle in the world, are they? I still think they're worth more, rightly or wrongly. That was a really tough old crowd. It was probably the wrong week. I've probably missed all the big sales where it draws a big crowd of buyers, but I really hope you enjoyed my YouTube anyway. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Subscribe to my YouTube.